He's gotta be behind you now. 1v1. Right behind you. Knocked out. You had to get the cover. Clover. Um, oh, with the self res? <gasps> and the throwing knife? Oh my god! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to World's Best Clip of the Week! I'm your host, Omat64, and from last week's episode, Teach oh, absolutely destroying with the chopper gunner sitting stationary on this That's turret. Right Took home the win. Congrats on the win, man. If you guys are new to this show, every Monday we feature the best clips sent in from around the world for you, the audience, to vote in the comment section down below on which of them is the best. Voting also enters you into my giveaway for 5,000 COD points. Huge congrats to Jordan for taking home the win on the previous episode here. Just include your Instagram handle when you vote on who the winner is. Without further ado, let's jump into the episode. Starting us out with the Juliet spot. XM4 in hand. Recently had a neck multiplier nerf, but it's still cracking, don't you worry. As he's down to a four versus one, two of them knocked out. No gas mask, pushes into the building, gets the third. Out of time, no stims, he gets a fourth, but it's a trade. Who's selfing? It's the one he knocked. And the throwing knife for the insane speed. <laughs> Four versus one outside of zone here. He had the high ground, which definitely helps catching the first two on the initiation. But look at his health. It gets so low. No gas mask. He had to get this final kill. But the other guy might not have had a gas mask, might not have had the same options either. Although I don't hear the coughing. Nonetheless, uh, insane 4v1. Well done. Huge pressure here. Coming up for the India spot. Stims up. Re-pushes with the MP40. Teammate showing up on that map. Goes for another stim play. This extra movement speed just makes it. Oh, with the jump over the top on him. Little hip fire spray. Kept it a little together. This is also a one versus one situation here. So they're playing on the outside of his own. But he plays the height here. And I... I don't know. I don't know how you guys have been feeling about the stims, but I think this is one of the best changes that they made in Caldera uh, for, for the new map for that sake. But hell, even for Rebirth here, just plays the patience on the high ground and gets a final pick. Coming in for the hotel spot. Some beautiful Car 98 snipe and bringing it down to now the one, two versus one outside. The no scope. I see you. No scope headshot for the second snipe, taking out the other team here. And uh, you know what better way to end the game here than to uh, break your legs? I gotta, I gotta give. I'm surprised he even had the time to do it after getting the dub there. Coming in for the golf spot. Tish is back, ladies and gentlemen. This man's got his PDS going through the outside of the zone. Yeah, four two. I've done this one time successfully in a solo play, and it was an absolute dream. And it keeps us, it keeps it going right here as he hits the flank on him, splatters one of them. I mean, imagine being the team in this situation. You, you think that you're safe behind a nice rock. You got some cover. You got a cluster strike going on from people that are outside of the zone in general. They've got early zone positioning just to get absolutely flattened by a Jeep coming out of the zone. I, it's so beautiful. I, you know, coming in for the Foxtrot spot. West all the way up in damn space here as he's coming back on a three versus one Milano rebirth. End game resurrection gets himself a claymore up on high ground now. Claymore's the door. No, this doesn't work. He actually doesn't even, I think, get that claymore to hit as he clears the lobby. I, I you know why? It's because it's the Milano. I don't know if you guys have seen my recent videos about this one, but the Milano's the best gun in the game. And uh, if you need more evidence, West, my boy, will hook you up here with this incredible clutch. Okay, maybe the maybe the ATV on the roof is a little better. Coming in for the Echo spot, Parmesan. <laughs> oh, 
Driving the ATV up on the roof of Rebirth. How is he not dead? I don't know, but he finds one of them. Finds two of them. Covered a little bit from the squad there as well, but... And that's some innovation. Coming in for the Delta spot. Heartbeat shows three on the interior. Bringing out the shotgun again. Classic juggling the window here, even with a re little revolt. Parachuter comes in on him. He's still got more bullets in this thing. I was right there. And look at how fast the reload is. Every time, this just this is blowing my mind. As he positions up in the next building over, it just <laughs> gets another kill. You saw the UAV ping, of course, on Rebirth. When you kill off an enemy, you get to see where their team is. Even if they're ghosted, the pings will still go out. I've used this to my advantage a number of times last week. I actually got a little bit more back in Rebirth myself, but this is just... I, I, ha I still haven't tried the shotgun, I'm not going to lie. I just... I think it's time, though. Look at this. This is insane. Well done, man. Coming in for the Charlie spot here. Calls the airstrike as he's trying to rotate off. Beautiful shots taking down the roof. Hold headshot there. No. No, that oh. did not just hit, dude. How do people do this? Missed a couple of those shots there, but keeps the accuracy. Obviously, he needed that in order to get the crossover. And the throwing knife up top for that finish. That was insane. Coming in for the Bravo spot. Held out on the roof by three roses out of ammo. Pops the stem, gives him a little bit more time. Gas mask now chalked as he drops down bottom floor. Doesn't rotate through, but keeps the low ground. No replay here. Catches two more with the Owen gun. Little pressure from up high. Eats a shot there from the top. And the re-challenge. Staying alive through that, okay, fi yeah. through that final shot. Holy... He had to rely on this Owen gun. The good thing for him is that the Owen gun actually is very reliable. This was a one versus four situation for the dub here. So they knew where he was. They kept the pressure on him, holding him out of zone here. But he's just better. Okay, now. The last honorable mention before we get into the final oh, clip no. of the day. Stims up just before going down in the reach challenge. Yeah, sure, I, I was telling you guys, Stims are great. And hey, here you go. And finally coming in for the alpha spot, Spacious. On the edge of the prison here. Absolutely fries one with the ramp. People are always telling me back to go back to this one. Gets the munitions box up. He's got the good height position with the teammate here as he drops a couple more kills. Now down to the two versus three. Knocks one early. Keeps the pressure here, though. Only has throwing knife, so he can't get an explosion behind there, and he doesn't even need it. Just absolutely laser beams him out for the absolute win! Look at that! He started the clip with the 11 kills and kills the rest! It's now up to your vote in the comment section down below. That'll also enter you in on our 5,000 COD point giveaways. Just include your Instagram handle. Check out these players linked in the description down below, as always. Check out my full playlist for all of these amazing clips and even secret moments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel to catch all the latest, and I'm live every single weekday, starting even a little bit earlier so 10 a.m pacific over on facebook that's for this one though thanks so much for watching this is stonemount 64 over and out